The RV Investigator is 94 metres long, 10 storeys high, and can take around 60 crew and scientists to the end of the earth. But it's more than just a ship, and I'm here to tell you why. CSIRO Research Vessel Investigator was built in Singapore and has just hit an important milestone, 100 voyages. During that time, it's travelled about 458,000 kilometres, which is 12 times around the equator. It's come up against turbulent seas, particularly in the Southern Ocean, but as the team on board will tell you, there's no shame in getting seasick. I've been down there in 17, 18 metre seas. Um, and obviously that's a pretty challenging environment, um, but we accept that you know, anyone can get seasick at any time. Because of all its scientific equipment on board, the investigator was specifically designed to be one of the quietest ships in the world. And that's for a couple of reasons. So one is because you really want to see the marine environment in as natural state as possible. And that means you don't want to attract things in the ocean and you don't want to repel things in the ocean. It has three diesel engines, which generate enough electricity to power a small suburb. There's a weather radar on board, gathering data from clouds up to 20 kilometres above the ocean in a 150 kilometre radius around the ship. The information is used to improve climate models and weather predictions for Australia. The ship's state-of-the-art technology also allows historians to find long-lost shipwrecks like the Blind Star. The investigator can map the seafloor to any ocean depth. So far, it's covered three million square kilometres in just nine years. That's equivalent to the size of India. In Australia, we have the third biggest marine estate of any country on Earth, but only about a quarter of that has been mapped to modern standards. So three quarters of it is a little bit unclear. Some voyages can last up to 60 days, which is why the ship has its own sewage system. Just like on a plane, waste is sucked into a tank. It then goes through a rigorous treatment and testing process that produces clean water that's safe to release. Before it's pumped overboard, but only when the ship is far from port. We know more about the surface of the moon than we do the deep ocean, but the RV investigator is helping to change that. It can travel further than previous research vessels and deploy cameras thousands of metres below the surface to explore previously unseen areas of the ocean. Capturing the behaviours of sea cucumbers, glowing spiny sea urchins, and of course, giant deep sea crabs. Or new species of shark and invertebrates that would normally escape other scientific surveys. The ship is really important. You obviously want a stable vessel, but it is a floating research platform. And it, at the end of the day, if it doesn't meet the researcher's needs, it's just a ship. Around 265,000 marine specimens have been collected over 100 voyages. Of this, around 1,000 brand new species have been discovered, such as zombie worms and meat-eating sponges, as well as potentially new species of blind cusk eel. The investigator has also captured some amazing moments above the surface, from inquisitive whales coming up for air to hundreds of dolphins and, of course, incredible sunsets. The ship's live stream camera also capturing the moment a bright meteor crossed the sky before breaking up over the ocean about 100 kilometres off Tasmania's coast. Some unforgettable moments, all while carrying out vital research.